Hi, welcome to the Fate Festival Online. It's me, Taffy Thomas, the first laureate for storytelling, with a story for you from my new collection of bird folk tales, A Magpie's Nest. And this is the oldest legend that I've been able to find. It was the Iron Winter. All the people on earth were freezing. The only fire that existed was in the centre of the earth, the fires of hell. Even though the people were freezing, they were not too sad and upset that they didn't care for the tiniest creatures, the small birds. And the robin and the wren, they flew off to return the compliment, flying towards a crack in the earth. As they flew through that crack beneath them, they could feel warmth and see the red flames at the centre of the earth. Flying downwards, they flew past cages where poor souls were imprisoned and being prodded by imps with forks and pointed sticks. And there, as they drew close to the fire, they could see the shape of a man with two horns on his head, cloven hooves and a long red tail old nick old scratch the devil himself the wren flew down and grabbed a brand of fire and with a friend the robin headed back towards the crack in the earth but the fire was so hot that it started to scorch the wren's wings so the robin flew so close to his friend he could wrap his wings around her to smother the flames the fire was so hot that it scorched the robin's breast, turning it bright red. As the two friends triumphantly threw through the crack in the earth and delivered the fire to the people, giving them warmth and light. And the folk on earth were so delighted, they found a special place for the robin and the wren in their gardens and also in their hearts. Leading to the traditional rhyme, the robin redbreast and the wren are God Almighty's cock 